Hello, I'm David Gold uh, from the England Open team and I'd like to show you the following very interesting hand. So, the bidding is one spade, two diamonds, which is natural and game forcing. And now you have a choice of rebids. Uh, some might choose to rebid two no trump, but with the very good spade suit and the three small hearts, anti-positional, for no trumps, you want partner to be possibly declarer. Two spades, I think, is a much better bid. North, simple, minimum, good spade support, four spades. So, the lead is the king of hearts. Everybody follows. No interesting cards appear. And they switch to the two of spades. And you have reached the critical moment. Now you must plan the play. Okay? Think. Pause. No? Okay. So, what have we come up with? So, obviously, we could win the ace of spades. We could draw trumps. Hopefully they're not 5-1. If they are, we're probably in big trouble anyway. And we could take a diamond finesse. The problem is that if you do that and the diamond finesse loses, the opponents can cash three hearts because there's no trump protection in the dummy. So... A much better line, which essentially only fails if diamonds are 4-1, is to win the ace of spades and simply duck a diamond completely. And now, as long as they're not 4-1, the contract is, is home. You just win the next trick, draw trumps, run the diamonds, and everybody's happy. All we need is